Royal Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right, let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes... Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Elamon... What makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? You gave her that, Elf Barbarian. I did. Elamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Damn straight. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. 
Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Apparently, I have bread. I try to tempt the little bastard out with it. He sticks out his tongue, finding your offering disgusting. Ugh. It says here I can pick locks. Can I do that? Sure. You spend a long time trying to pick the lock, but don't accomplish anything. The dragonkin makes an obscene gesture at what you can only assume are his genitals. Shit. <laughs> LOL. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? You know what I love? Making shoes out of dragonkin. I point at my shoes. I'm wearing a pair, now, air dragonkins. There's something special about your scaly skin, how it's waterproof but also breathes. So comfy. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. You're short! I say, but you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. The dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies of fear. Awesome. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? It's tent time. Wait, have you forgotten the training camp? There's potential loot there. I live for loot. Let me pick again. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy-set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. 
You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game! It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. What's next? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? What's Wrathful Rush? It's like a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder slam. Okay, I do that. You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgeron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. You slam your shoulder into him, knocking him back and doing some damage. Hell yeah. Next. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I, uh, I don't know. Shit. I dance to distract him. You dance? To distract him. I'm doomed. Sixteen? What? What? Your crappy, arrhythmic dancing is weirdly mesmerizing to Durgeron. He pauses with his sword in midair for ten seconds, buying Elmon time to crawl away. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20! Fuck yes! You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, 
severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame! Oh, snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon! Durgaron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Samantha Myers, school wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. got here twitch don't call me that true north a jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad guess nathan prescott made the shit list oh wow this is some really weird crap prescott it's not yours give it back i hate that you're on the team now you're such a loser guys no need to fight you can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you! You guys! Stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me?
Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. When Nathan goes crying to Lord Prescott, everybody here will be stuck doing sensitivity seminars all week. You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. You think this is funny? You, you think I'm joking here? Look, if you insist on continuing to suck so much, there won't be any oxygen for the rest of us. All talk, no game, huh, Chloe? Booyah! <laughs> that took me months to put together! Quit the team, Twitch. For your own good. Shit. Next time, mind your own business. You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family... Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Maybe if I delay going inside.